Welcome, it's Facts You Don't Know. If it's your first time here and you want to find out new facts that will definitely make you smarter and more. Well, and for make sure to subscribe and active the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Many people forget that jobs are transitory and cannot imagine the twists and turns that life takes. Johnny was a chef with a passion for creating exotic fusions of flavors and had therefore excelled at a five-star hotel in the city, which earned him to become executive chef. In that kitchen, not even a simple coffee was prepared, but was supervised by him. Ernesto was a boy who lived near the hotel, and every day he brought the remains of the food that were thrown out to eat and feed his little brothers and also his mother. When he turned 16, he dared to speak to the hotel manager to ask for a job opportunity. The man who was the owner's brother was pleased to see that the boy was willing to earn his daily bread with dignity, so he promised that he would place him in a job position. Days later, Ernesto was in the hotel's human resources office, signing his contract as the kitchen maintenance manager. His job was to make sure that everything was hygienically clean in that place, and that it was practically the heart of the hotel. On his first day, things were more difficult than he imagined. Chef Johnny did not know of his hiring, and when he found him in the kitchen, he began to shout, asking what that homeless man was doing there. Ernesto, with great fear, replied that he'd been hired to maintain the kitchen. So Johnny made the rules clear for him. He told me that he was very picky about cleanliness. What did he want? That kitchen squeaky clean, and did not like me to replicate his orders. Ernesto was a very driven boy and had no problem obeying orders. In addition, he was a good worker, since he effectively kept the kitchen clean. As the week after starting work, he already had a good relationship with the assistant chef who told him that he really liked cooking, so the boy who had noble feelings told him that he was going to teach him how to cook. That afternoon, there was an important dinner, and one of the assistant chefs had an emergency. So Ernesto's friend asked him to put down his broom and put on one of the altar to help. The young man followed the instructions perfectly when cutting the vegetables. Suddenly, the executive chef came in and was annoyed when he saw Ernesto doing kitchen work but he had no tact to speak, but shouted angrily. What is this floor cleaner do in my kitchen? This is a lack of respect for the work of chefs. We are a quality restaurant, and here the one who cooks is because he knows, not because he wants to. I studied in the best cooking school in the world, and it's not fair that someone who practically came out of poverty comes to work for me. Please take off that apron and get on your cleaning job, Chef Johnny said. Ernesto felt that life was getting out of hand, out of the shame he felt. He took off his apron and began cleaning up what Chef Johnny made on purpose. In the kitchen, all was silence, and Ernesto was crying secretly. When Chef Johnny went to supervise the dessert process, the assistant chefs tried to boost the morale of the young man who had the illusion of learning to cook. That day was quite tense for this boy, because Chef Johnny from time to time threw hints at the young man. He spoke of people who were abusing trust and did not understand their place. Also, for the sheer pleasure of throwing away garbage, so that Ernesto had to pick it up. When Ernesto got home, he told his mother how he'd been humiliated. She hugged him and told him not to cry because no one could frustrate him in his dreams and emphasized that he had the talent to shine without needing the approval of someone as conceited as this Chef Johnny. The days went by and Chef Johnny deepened the discomfort he felt towards Ernesto. He took every opportunity to make him feel bad and went so far as to tell him that he was born to mop. The sky was falling. However, on that occasion, the head of human resources heard all the humiliations that the chef was releasing against Ernesto and immediately asked him to please respect his co-worker. Otherwise, it would be necessary to send you a warning in writing, and this would be quite serious. Johnny's anger just increased, and he felt that Ernesto was to blame for the wake-up call that they had made. A few days after that episode, Johnny went to the manager to complain about young Ernesto. He said that he was not proactive, that he cleaned poorly, and he did not straighten kitchen utensils well which put the hotel's prestige at risk. The manager listened to him carefully and asked him what he was proposing, and without thinking twice, he replied that the best thing to do was without his services. The manager was a fair man, and he decided to talk to the other chefs and also worked in the kitchen, and they told him about the humiliations that Ernesto was subjected to almost daily and explained what had been the cause of Johnny's discomfort. The nobleman called Ernesto and told him that he was no longer going to work at the hotel. The young man felt that the world was collapsing because he was going to lose the only economic income that it was in his home. When he saw him crestfallen, the manager told him not to worry, 
that if he took him out of cleaning work, it was because he would send him to study gastronomy and a scholarship, that his brother was the owner of the hotel, which he was going to grant him. Ernesto couldn't believe what he was hearing, but he was worried about how he was going to feed his family. The manager told him not to worry either because a full supply was going to be delivered to his mother every month while his studies lasted. Within two years, Ernesto had become executive chef and continued studying and specialty in fusion food. The hotel manager, knowing that Ernesto was already a chef, asked him to report to his office the next day. This time, he offered him a job to be the chef for special banquets. Ernesto accepted with great joy because the salary they offered him was excellent and with it he planned to build a decent house for his family. However, he was a little worried about working alongside Johnny. The manager proposed this, indicated that he would have his own office where he could prepare his menus and meet with customers in order to avoid friction with Johnny. A week later, Ernesto was already installed, and I was not very envious of the privileges that I felt that they had given the chef, who for him was a novice. So he was willing that young man did not grow up in that hotel. When it came time to attend Ernesto's first big event, Chef Johnny believed it was his chance to make the new chef look bad. The day before, Chef Ernesto left the chicken he was going to cook dizzy, put it in that refrigerator, and went to rest. Hours passed, and the next day when he was going to start preparing that feast, when he opened the chicken container, he smelled a terrible stench. It's not known that, but the chicken was inedible. Ernesto had to inform the management of what was happening. Because there were many pounds that were spoiled, Johnny intervened and suggested there was poor preparation or abuse of some ingredient. But Ernesto ensured that this was not possible, that he had not applied anything that could cause that unpleasant smell. Management asked Ernesto to find a solution, and then he would investigate what happened. The young chef, but again the chicken, and although it did not marinate as he wanted, and the banquet was a success. Once again, Johnny was upset and got even angrier when Ernesto was congratulated on having managed to overcome the obstacles. In addition, in front of all the kitchen staff, the manager projected a video on a screen in which Chef Johnny was seen altering the chicken that Ernesto had marinated. Faced with the evidence, he just had to accept that he had made that mistake and was obviously fired. Ernesto felt very sorry and went to intercede for him with that management, no matter how many times he had humiliated him in the past. The young man managed to convince the manager to give him a new chance, and he did. Chef Johnny had a new opportunity, but this time he was hired as a dishwasher, and he was going to work under Ernesto. Although it felt like the world was upside down, Johnny had to accept because no one else would employ him with such references. What would you think of the story? What would you have done in Johnny's place? Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.